back at your ass again black at your ass again and we're back for another one but first we'd like you to subscribe to the reaper because we doing good things here at reaper reaper back in the green room again and let's get started with the topic negative energy should you allow it around you because i see a lot of people that's hanging around a lot of the uh negative people and a lot of negative talk you know what i'm saying or negative people that's doing you know um very bad things you know what i'm saying a lot of backbiting and everything and just like club nouveau said i don't want the bad talk around me because people be spreading rumors and everything else and negative energy it messes with your mental state it messes with your physical state you know um it doesn't make you as ambitious as you should be you know uh it can even affect you in your career your education or whatever you know why would people you know have this type of energy around them unless they love drama you know what i'm saying because a lot of people you know i see with a lot of negative people around them with a negative disposition and you know usually these people don't respect you and in a relationship or whatever you know why should you keep going back and forth the reaper got a show out that's called you know make up and break up why should you do it because if a person is negative and they have a negative disposition around you why would you talk to them and why would you have them in your circumference because you know uh that's not going to make uh them respect you and we see that with will smith uh jada pickett and uh a host of other people, you know, having this sort of uh, negative energy around them and expecting things to change and it won't. And, you know, uh, people just won't, you know, respect you. So we're going to talk about negative energy. Should you allow it around you? Negative energy. It is a gravitational pull to a bad place to reap or keep it 1000. You know, uh, it can affect your mental. It doesn't make you feel good. You know, stress takes you down and takes your spirits down and everything, you know, and everything starts with a thought, you know, with your mental state or whatever. So if you're not happy mentally, you know, everything else will line up with that because everything starts with a thought and physical, you know, it can take a toll on your health. You know, like I said, stress kills, you know, people overeat, people don't work out the way they should, or people develop health problems because of uh, negative energy and negative thoughts, you know, of 
depression and everything else. So uh, it can take your physical down far as you can start having, you know, uh, physical problems and ambition. You know, people just don't feel motivated to do anything, you know, when there's a lot of negative energy around them all the time, you know, or a lot of drama. You know, most people, you know, to replay the percentages don't feel motivated to do uh, anything and it makes people feel bad and it takes a toll on your career, you know, uh, uh, it takes away from your focus, you know, to be the best person you can be in your job and in the workplace and anyway, to reap or keep it 1000 in education, you know, you can't concentrate, you can't get nothing, uh, study done properly or, or go in the right direction when you got a lot of negative energy around you all the time. Why would people want you know, people around them that make them feel bad or don't respect them, you know, um, and ask them to, you know, come back. It takes away from your positive energy, you know, to get to a good place. You see this with couples, a man or woman, you know, want to get back together, you know, that felt, you know, disrespected or, you know, they felt a lot of negative energy, you know, that was in the air between them and it didn't make them feel good or they felt disrespected. You know, you saw this with Ray J and his wife, Princess. You saw this with uh, Will Smith and Jada, you know, and you saw it with Steph Curry, you know, where there was, you know, a lot of negative energy around and these couples is trying to work it out and get back together and break up and get back together you know um you know when you get released from a job or you get released from a sports team or whatever and there's a lot of negative energy or disrespect in the air you know they usually don't want you back or take you back the reaper keep it 1000 so why should you you know want to be back with you know somebody that's you know uh bringing negative energy to you you know it's just unintelligent to me but i i see a lot of couples go through this and and do this and they're hoping that that person will get back, you know, with them, you know, and time and time again, they hope that people will change, you know, uh, you know, and when you accept people back like this or whatever, they don't change, you know, that's just saying you accept, um, you know, them being disrespectful towards you or you love negative energy. Some people love drama, you know, uh, you can feel it in their spirit. When they come around, you can feel it in the air. You know, nothing's never good enough, you know, and usually when people uh, bring negative energy around you, they bring trouble around you, you know, um, you know, you could go to jail or they just bring, you know, uh, like Club Nouveau say, they just bring bad talks and rumors around you all the time, you know, about other people. And usually, you know, people that love to be around these kind of situations, you know, if someone says something negative about that particular person, you know, uh, they will believe it because they like drama anyway, you know. I mean, they like being around drama, you know, or they like being around disrespectful people, you know, that have no ambition or whatever, you know, that's caught up, you know, uh, in a negative place most of the time, you know, mentally, you know, and physically or whatever, you know, uh, and, you know, when someone says something about somebody or whatever, they're prone to believe it because they like that kind of drama. If you see somebody that's always talking to someone uh, and that person is always in a negative space and they're always around them and they're always talking about them or saying they did this or they saying they did that and they're not trying to correct, you know, the problem or get away from that person after a while, then that negative energy will latch on to them and it will start to bring them down, you know, positive and they love being around drama. And this is why, you know, they bring that kind of negative energy to you. And it just, it's, gra it's a gravitational pull. It pulls you down in a bad place mentally or whatever. You know, you notice that if somebody get to talking about something drama for all the time, or somebody did this and that to them, or somebody be negative on a job or whatever, you know, they can latch on to you and bring you down in that gravitational pull or whatever, where where, you know, every day you're coming to work mad or angry or whatever because, you know, that person is in a bad space or in a depressed space or whatever, you know, and if you hang around that person too much or whatever, you know, even if it's in a relationship or whatever, then the disrespect comes in and, you know, uh, that person will never respect you because they wouldn't have never disrespected you, you know, uh, 
uh, or try to pull you down uh, negatively or whatever. The Reaper keep it 1,000 and you see these couples getting back together, breaking up and getting back together and they will never respect one another or whatever. They just doing it, you know, for public opinion or hoping that someone would change. Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because we doing good things here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.